Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to go for single or multiple row selection in table control with wizard. So as a part of that in the previous video, we created a program. We declared the various internal table and work areas. And this is the internal table which we will bind with the table control with wizard. And we took a extra column which will be help us to select the rows. So now we will go for our screen. <coughs> Sorry. And I will design table control with wizard. I will go to layout of screen 100. And I will design a table control with wizard. And you will learn so many things because that extra column will play a vital role here. And the whole game is of that only. I'll just wait. I think system is slow. It is opening screen painter. I'll just open again. Okay, I will go to change mode of the program. I will click on to layer. Now it's open. Now I will go for table control with wizard. This is our table control with wizard. Now you all know we will get a set of predefined steps. Whenever a step is in running state, it will be in yellow color. Whenever some step will finish, it will be in green color. And red means the step has not started yet. So first step is in yellow color. It means we are on to this step. Continue. First step converted to green color. We will give some name to the table control. Suppose I am saying TC underscore order. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. I will go for Kanti. Now second step also converted to green color. Now I will go for internal program table. That's why we created the internal table first. I will go for name of the internal table. Now, if I will go to F for help, you can see all the three internal tables are appearing, but we need to take this final internal table. Now, these internal tables are appearing because I activated the program. So it's extremely important that you must activate the program else you will not be able to find the internal tables here. I will go for LT final. Now I will go for table work area. I will go to F for help. Now I will choose the work area. Suppose LWA final is our work area. I will go for continue. And now the important part will come. Previously, you are only only displaying the data in table control with wizard. So you are selecting all the columns. Now, first column we will not select because this column will be used to select the rows, but select the table control rows. So other columns we will select. Now we will not select this column at this point of time. This column will be used to sell to for you. This column will be used for single or multiple row selection functionality of the table control with wizard. 
This is the first important point. You took a extra column, but that extra column will be used for the functionality of single or multiple row selection in the table control with Fizar. I will go for continue. Now, here you can understand fully now, but is the functionality line selectability? Yes, our functionality is line selectability. So we will select this checkbox and here we will pass the name of the field, which will be used for selecting the multiple rows, which will be used to identify single or multiple row selection. Now here, I will pass the name of the column. What is the name of column we take? S-E-L. Now suppose if you are taking this column, suppose you are selecting this column here. Now if you will go for continue and you will select this and pass that column here, SAP will give you the error itself. If I will go to continue, you can see SAP is giving me the error the field cell for the selection column is already contained in that table. So you will identify at this point of time itself that you should not select that column because this column will be used for single or multiple row selection functionality. So you can simply, simply deselect because we are not displaying. This is not our table value or something. We are table values are order number, order date, payment mode, total amount. It is for single or multiple row selection functionality. I will go for continue. Now it depends upon your requirement. Customer is asking for single row selection or multiple row selection. It is totally your wish. Suppose I will go for multiple selection. I will go for continue. Now, if I will go for now, previously, if you remember when we created the table control with Wizard, at that time only scroll was there. Now we have a functionality select or deselect also. Yes, because you all know everywhere we have the provision, we can select all the rows, we can deselect all the rows. So these buttons will also become unable. I will show you whenever we will generate. I will go for this. And you can see steps are converting to green color. I will continue. Now I will continue. Now all steps converted to green color. Last step will also convert to green color. I am finishing. Now table control with wizard is complete. It is taking time. I will wait. So you can see the important points which we covered. Yes, firstly, whenever you are going for the columns, do not take that extra column which you have taken for single or multiple row selection. And whenever you move on to next, you will find a checkbox there. There you need to pass that particular column which will be used for single or multiple row selection. Now it is totally your wish, depends upon the customer, you want to go for single or multiple, you can choose that radio button. And after that, we have one more checkbox enabled, select or deselect. So I choose that also, yes. So I will go for that also. That is anyways SAP predefined buttons. So we choose that also. Okay, so it is taking time. So meanwhile, we will cover the summary of the topic. So what is the summary of the topic? 
in this video we have we created table control with wizard we passed the name of the internal table whatever the columns are there those appeared there so we have not selected the first column that is sel we choose the rest of the columns and in line line selectability functionality we pass that sel column after that we choose the radio button for the multiple and after that we simply selected the checkbox for the scroll and select or deselect all and now the table control with wizard will complete in the next video we will write the logic and we will see how how we will achieve our functionality so that's it in this video thank you